I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a very important question based on limits as the value of x is approaching infinity. Here we have two parts of equation. We need to find limit of the function x over square root of x square minus 4 in A when x approaches infinity and in B when x approaches negative infinity, right? What do you think? Will the answers be exactly same or different? Think about it. Now let us see how to solve such questions. So whenever you have square root and x square involved, there is one thing which is very important to understand and we'll begin from there only. And that is to say, what is square root of x square? Now square root of x square is always positive. If you are writing it to be a value as x, it will be incorrect since x could be negative or positive. So basically, it is absolute value of x. That is one thing. Second thing which you need to know is what is absolute value of x? Well, the absolute value of x has two values. It is a piecewise function. It is x or it is minus x depends on whether we are talking about a number which is greater than or equal to 0 or which is less than 0. Well, if it is negative 7, you make it negative of negative 7 to make it positive. So that is how we treat x. Once you know this, then the question can be solved without any problems. But if you have any confusion in these parts, then you can never solve this question correctly. Now, let us see how to solve it. We need to evaluate limit as x approaches infinity for x over square root of x square minus 4. We could write this as limit x approaches infinity of x over, if I factor out x square, then what do I get? Well, what I'm trying to say is, if I factor x square from the denominator, I get 1 minus 4 over x square, correct? Now, we could write this as limit x approaches infinity. Numerator is x. In the denominator, x square square root is what? It is absolute value of x, correct? And within the square root, I have 1 minus 4 over x square, correct? That's what, what I, we get. Now, when x is approaching infinity, absolute value of x is positive x, correct? Positive value. So I could write this as limit x approaches infinity, x over x, square root of 1 minus 4 over x square. Now x and x cancel out, right? So what do you get? You get limit x approaches infinity for 1 over square root of 1 minus 4 over x square. Now when x is approaching infinity, 4 over x square is a very large number. I mean x square is very large. So 4 over x square will be approaching 0. So what we get here is 1 over 1 minus 0, which is 1. So we get our answer as 1. So the limit of this function is 1. Now, let us do the second question. You know the strategy. Why don't you just pause the video, answer the question, and then check with my solution. Okay, so we'll do exactly in the same fashion. So the question for us now is x approaches negative infinity instead of positive infinity, right? So the only difference will be when you're solving this question, we will write this step, which is x over. So when we take out absolute value of x, we have this step, right? Absolute value of x over 1 minus 4 over x square. Right? So first two steps are exactly same. Now note the difference. At this stage, what is absolute value of x? We are approaching negative infinity, right? So... So the absolute value of x is negative x. So what we get here is as x approaches negative x, we have x over negative x times square root of 1 minus 4 over x square. 
you get this idea so at this stage when you cancel x you get minus 1 do you appreciate the difference that is key to the solution of this question right so we get minus 1 over square root of 1 minus 4 over x square now when x is approaching a large value which is negative then 4 over x square will be 0 so we get minus 1 over square root of 1 right you can write plus 0 here which is minus 1 so this time you can see that the limit is negative 1 so we get negative 1 this time and earlier we got positive 1 as our limit so that is how you can show that we get different results right now another part of this question is to interpret the meaning of your solution right so to interpret the meaning of the solution now what do you interpret here well this means that we have a horizontal asymptote y equals to plus 1 and that means that we have a horizontal asymptote y equals to negative 1 so in this particular case we have two horizontal asymptotes as the function is approaching positive infinity let me sketch it here kind of right as the function is approaching positive infinity you are approaching positive 1 right so you are approaching a value which is positive 1 but when you are approaching negative infinity right so at that time you are approaching a value which is negative 1 and these are the two horizontal asymptotes which you have for the given function do you understand so that is the interpretation of the result I hope you understand and appreciate that a function can actually have two horizontal asymptotes. Horizontal asymptote is defined as the value approached by the function as x approaches a large value. It could be a large positive value or a large negative value. Correct? So you could expect two horizontal asymptotes as we have in this particular case. I hope you understand and appreciate this concept extremely important feel free to write your comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for watching and all the best